What's up, everybody? I know you've been wondering what's going on with Joe's Auto. Well, here's your first look at behind the scenes of Joe's Auto. I'm El Bravador. Thanks a lot. Enjoy it. It's some funny scenes in here, and uh, you're really going to enjoy this film. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Yeah, I had this one at the house and then bring it. I thought you said we'd be doing the other one. We're doing both. Oh, We're doing both today. Uh, I had this one at the house and then bring it. Together. You know, and stuff. No, not that one, but this. Alright, I'll tell you what. Everybody come. There, I'm trying to be Mr. Director. One man show sometime, but thanks a lot. The people that helped out, some of the actors are actually some of the boom men, reflector men, and everything. Thanks a lot, Guido, for your help, too. And uh, you'll be seeing him in the movie and the film as well. We are here at the set, the high dollar set, I might add, of uh, Joe's Auto, a uh, El Rabador production. Um, I had the for I had the, the, the fortunate opportunity to be a part of this because I got caught up in some um, embezzlement and instead of doing time and probation they required me to do this instead. Okay, I don't know what so, the hell Van's talking the about. Y'all. Phases of filming this and once this is done, we'll move on to some other stuff. I've done some stuff with him in the past, um, more like stunt and crowd scenes, so you know, no bit acting parts. But this is my first speaking role with him in one of his productions. So Check out the movie, check out the talk show. I will have a Facebook page up at some point in the near future once I get a computer. And um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Antoinette that's Archer it. hugging Van. Yes, sir. Hi, <laughs> right, my name is Elwin Carter. You know, I go by Earl, I go by a lot of different names. This is my first time being in a movie production with El Bravador. It's been pretty good, you know, and I think it's something that I'm going to probably look forward to keep doing. I'm having a lot of fun with these guys out here, and basically it's, it's what I thought it would be, you know. But uh, my name that I go by on Facebook, everybody know me as Cap City King. I'm working on the car. Y'all make sure you check girl out, okay? Cap City King on Facebook. Van uh, walks up. Boy, you know what you're doing. You know your thing. Yeah. I don't think he did. How y'all doing? My name is uh, Khalil Archer. Uh, this is uh, Joe's Auto, my first film. Uh, hopefully I can do big things with this film. Uh, very excited about it. Beautiful day. Very excited. Very excited. So uh, y'all keep in touch. Tune in. This is going to be a great thing. All right. Later. Appreciate it, cuz. That's Khalil Archer, everybody. We're going to hear from John right about now. I'm John. I play Steven on Joe's Auto and also a member of Black Magic Filmworks. Um, it's my first time acting. It's going so far so good, it's going pretty good. It's still kind of hard. It's a first time process for me, so it's you know, still you know, getting lines and <laughs> all of that, remembering the script. And, so it's, it, it's pretty hard, but it's fun though. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the whole thing. I mean, all in all, the whole project as a whole has been, it's been really fun. Thanks a lot, John. Appreciate your help, man. And Black Magic Boy, Films, everybody. Be on the lookout for them. They're coming at you. It's Guido. All this money he got. He keep buying this disposable bone from the dollar store. You need to get some meal, man. Thanks a lot, Guido. I really appreciate that, bro. And here's Kirk and Bob. Played by Pat and Steven. Hold on. I know it's not Opie Cunningham over here. Uh, we're Kirk and Bob in uh, Joe's Auto Film. Uh, on set, location. That's right, behind the scenes. Um, done a little work with Brad before. Uh, met him downtown, heard him just talking about a movie. Thought it'd be fun to uh, to do something with him. And uh, Steve and I paired up as uh, as the token white guys. <laughs> the test two babies. That's right. Hi, this is Yeah, I have to go get my camera. This, uh, this is as much fun to watch as this make. See it on the silver screen. Eat some popcorn. Have some honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we didn't get any scenes of Walter. Did we still get the honeys? Yeah. <laughs> you really need to shoot these motherfuckers. Okay, here we go. Here come the gangsters. Chocolate chip. And that's Shorty P in the white. He's like a brother to us. He really is. Been known him for years. You'll see him in the film as well. You gotta say, take one and hit no thing like that. That's why I'm looking at you like that. Yeah, yeah I know, okay. Yeah. I'm El Bravador's brother. I'm in a couple of scenes in the movie, and he did a, his first project, 
was surprisingly good. I didn't think it was gonna be like it turned out because it was real good. Yeah. He surprised me with a whole lot of things. And when I first found out he was a DJ back when I was DJing and back in the day, I didn't know he was as good as he was until I saw him perform, you know, scratching, mixing. I ain't never know how to mix and scratch. So he's a pretty talented guy. I'm proud of him to be my brother. <laughs> and I'm proud to be yours. If it was not for that guy right there, I wouldn't be doing this now, y'all, for real. Uh, <laughs> Cleaning off camera lens. Thanks a lot, Chris Benningho, for doing all of the behind the scenes. Damn, that ain't help. You done melted the damn star. <laughs> I'm Walter Smith, known, better known as Wild Walter. Um, started with the Chamber Brothers, Sliding Family Stone. And I've been doing music for over 37 years. I'm now a radio DJ at a local radio station. And I've been in a movie before, on Disco 9000. And I've been extras in a couple of others that I uh, can't have to mention. And right now I'm in Joe's Auto. I'm having a ball doing it. And I hope this will be the movie of the year. I, I saw the third world man, and I, I, I mean, I, I got speeches. I called him the same night. And uh, this is going to be something that you've got to see. Thanks a lot, Wild Walter. I really appreciate that. We're going to hear from, who else now? We're going to hear from Mike. He actually let us use his Camaro, that orange Camaro. Uh, he's the fastest Camaro out there in Northside, he says. Yeah, and I believe him, definitely. So we're going to hear from Mike. And then um, we've got more of the behind the scenes coming up. My name is Mike. This is my 69 Camaro. The fastest thing around the north side on the street. You don't want none. And he means that. Oh, you don't. Him and Jensen both. Thanks a lot also for your help, Jensen, out there. See, there you go. That <laughs> told you ain't come wild walking for nothing. And then after that, you're going to have to do it without it. All right. Okay. Hi, I'm Loretta, now Burnett. I'm cast as Loretta Gray, Loretta from Joe's Auto. And I play Joe's sexy wife. I've loved working on the shoot for Joe's Auto. It's always way, way relaxed. And, um, I love all the characters. Everybody's like one big family. Can't wait till the shoot is completely done. Also study with the great um, Miss Quayley Leopard of The Notebook. Loving uh, studying on the Quayley. She really helped me with my character development, which you can see with my Harriet Tubman monologue. Worked on HBO The Wire, uh, Line of Fire, you name it. Check out the um, MySpace or the Facebook. And uh, you find out all the other details. Look forward to seeing you. And I hope you enjoy the Joe's Auto Show. Thanks a lot for your patience. And we will be premiering Joe's Auto at the Soul Image Film Festival that will be held in August. Thanks, y'all. Like and my other brother, Sean. You got the man, my He the found it, man. Nah, I'm proud of him. Real proud of him. All right, real, real proud, proud of you, boy. Yeah, real proud of you. Yeah, he's supposed to cut now. Is that the cut? Cut. <laughs>